Good morning, YouTube. So, since we started our channel, we've had a, a lot of comments on my trimming, my trimming techniques, uh, different things people see me do that are just a little unusual. Uh, some of the stuff we do, we do for appearance. Some of it we do to just be more efficient. Uh, but both are equally important if you're providing a high quality lawn care. So I've decided we're gonna make a little video just to throw out some tips, tricks, how to, why, and uh, show you a few of the things that I do and try to give a little bit of an explanation. So we're gonna start off right here. We got this keyway and you'll see we've already kind of got started for the day, but I'm gonna flip edge these beds in this center section. Then from there, something we've got a lot of comments about, I'm actually gonna mow this with the trimmer. Uh, I'm not gonna stop in between. So when I take off flip edge and you're gonna see, I don't grab the handle. I tend to grab the shaft of the trimmer. And to me, the most important thing is just keep me to your arms and your shoulders and everything locked and moving with your body. Uh, you have better control that way. Whenever you start reaching with your hands and your arms, you're gonna get a little bit loose and that's when you tend to make mistakes. So me personally, I have a wider grip, more rigid, and move with my whole body, not my arms. From there, once I flip edge it, you're gonna see me mow this even though the grass slowed down, beautiful day, we got like 60 degree weather. I'm gonna run around the outside where I edged and I'm gonna put a slight taper on the trimmer, not perfectly flat, just so that it gives it that clean look on the outside where I just edged. Uh, this is more important if you're mowing, just so that everything blends. But I'm gonna go ahead and do it here just to show y'all and trim all this up, mow it with the trimmer. So you'll see the flip edging, you'll see how I square off my edges and you're gonna see how I mow with the trimmer. Now, the reason I do this and I'm able to do this and be efficient, this Echo 2620T, I can, I can swing, comfortably swing a good two feet of string. It has a huge swath without bogging down. The 2620s will do it, but without that little bit of different gear ratio, they won't spin it as fast. And when mowing with the trimmer, you have to spin that head fast enough to keep the string flat. If the string is wobbling, you're going to scalp the ground. So for any of you that try this, Try it at your own house first. <laughs> Don't go doing this on a customer's lawn to learn the technique. Get good elsewhere, out of you or at your own house first. But once you learn it, especially along ditches and a lot of places where you can't get your mower and all that, or it's where it comes in handy, you'll see that you can actually move really quickly with the trimmer. So enough talking, let's get started.
Said you saw the flip edging. My first pass around, I kept the trimmer head just over the edge with the front of the string coming into the lawn, pushing the grass back in as it was cutting. Then from there, you saw me let out even more string 20, 22, 23, almost 24 inches of string so that I was able to cover more ground as I was trimming. Now, wasn't even planning on doing this, but I did want to cover it in the video. You saw here and over there, I started swinging back and forth. Just typical weed eating. Uh, cutting and blending. Whenever you pull to the left, the left side is your cutting edge. Whenever you drag that left edge to the right, you're blending. So you'll see a lot of people just walking and swinging. You have to have some type of overlap, otherwise it looks just choppy, it looks bad. So when you pull left, pull back to the right over what you just cut and it'll blend the grass in. So that's four different techniques right there on that one spot. We're gonna go over here and go to a ditch and I'm gonna show you all some more directional trimming, just me walking with the trimmer. And I'm going to show you how I shape a ditch. So let's go to another part of the property right quick. All right, so I'm sure everybody that does professional lawn care has a property where you have a ditch that just does not want to mow correctly. Uh, these ditches are really smooth, but they have a curve to the bottom. So if you try to mow it all the way down, you're either gonna yellow the point where it drops off, or you're gonna leave a scalp line, even if it's real minor, in the bottom. Okay, we're not trying to leave lines here. We want a nice smooth finish. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my trimmer. Now you could potentially go all the way down. These don't need that. So what I'm going to do is when I trim this, this deep part, I'm going to fade it out to where my mower can catch it. And then I'm going to come back across and blend. Now, you'll see me come all the way around. But for now, we're going to focus on this, getting this trimmed. Like I said, blend your work. It's kind of like going to get a haircut. You get a haircut, you don't want them just, well, some people do. I mean, hell, I used to be bald. But you don't want them just take the trimmer, the clippers, and shave everything one length. You want different lengths you want it to fade you want it to blend same thing with this so let's get this trimmed up main thing is when i come out of the ditch you're gonna see me cut an arch and then i'm gonna blend the sides and fade it all in so these hard angles it's all gonna be smooth you can't do this without music you got to get in the rhythm a lot I know y'all I'm sure y'all have seen it uh, you get around a building get around a house or you get around a wood fence or something and you see the bottom green black it, it's stained okay that's one of the biggest causes of it whenever you're trimming it has to be directional now if I was on a chain link fence something like that, the weed eater head is spinning counterclockwise. So I would turn around so that the string is actually cutting in the front and sending everything into the chain link through it. Because that's gonna allow the trimmer to pull this way and it takes less pressure to hold it off the fence. And then you just angle your trimmer and let the string touch right at the ground on the chain link fence, parallel to it, and you walk. If you try to go this way on a chain link, it's going to pull you in. Now you're all caught up, you're wasting your string, you're wasting time, you're chopping up the ground. Left side, walk with it. But, now this might not be the side of a house or a wood fence. But this property gets sprayed and the customer sprays stuff. I mean, we got some wood fences like you can see over here, but there's, there's just, there's a six inch line all the way around it. There's absolutely nothing to trim. So I'm going to show you all right here. If you're going around a house, you're going around a fence, put it on your right side. Walk with it, parallel to it let the string throw the clippings and everything away from the house, the fence, whatever, so that it doesn't stain it up over time. So we're gonna run around these bricks real quick. Haley just told me I gotta slow down. She's having trouble keeping up. 
So I'm gonna try to walk a little slower for y'all and uh, we'll get this done. just a few tips and tricks for you a uh, couple things you might notice that I'm real big on like I said like getting a haircut we blend we fade you're gonna see me if you look closely leaning that trimmer head leaning it forward leaning it to the side when I went around the bricks I, I grabbed further out and I just leaned slightly I mean, we're talking five, 10 degrees towards what I'm trimming against. That way it's low and tight where I'm cutting, but it slightly raises up to where the mower's gonna cut. Just slight blends. You don't wanna get carried away. You're gonna start scalping stuff. It's just, it'll go from a nice fade to looking bad in a hurry. So don't get carried away with it. But hope these tips and tricks will help Y'all try some of them out. Leave a comment. Tell me what y'all think about them. As for now, this is a big property. We got a lot of work to do. And I know y'all rather see Haley in front of the camera than me anyway. So we're going to get y'all a little bit of mowing, feud foot uh, mowing footage. <laughs> and we're going to put the beautiful Miss Haley in the video. Mm. So let's get it done.
Alright, so that's it for this one. I hope y'all can hear me over all this wind. But uh that's it for this one. See how the leaves down? Yep. Paul's here. So anyway, if you like what you see, if you want to see some more, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and we'll see you next time.